We'll also uh, take a look at the touch rollout and touch rollover code. And then I put in here some notes. These are just copied directly from um, the uh, the online help documents, which just talk about the um, the other touch type uh, of code you can throw in here. So um, actually, it looks like we're going to cover our, well pretty pretty much all of it. We these are the first three that we did. We looked at touch tap, and then we'll look at touch rollover and touch rollout. But the other ones are kind of self-explanatory. Uh, and uh, what we'll do is make our little guy uh, move around just a bit here. So uh, I'm going to jump into the action script um, three uh, layer here, and we will begin by writing zombie.add event listener. This will be event, and this will be an enter frame event. So uh, what we'll do is run this function, the one called move zombie that I'm about to write, and that will get run at the um, same frame rate as the movie, which if I remember right is either, well, it's either probably 15 frames per second, 30 or 24. It could be any one of those. But uh, long story short, it is moving this guy uh, around, or running this code, I should say, quite frequently. All right, so event, and this really has nothing to do with the um, the touch code that we're going to put in here, other than I I just want the zombie to be automatically moving around so that um, our finger kind of has to keep up with them, you know. Okay, so uh, we will then write uh, zombie dot x, and there's a couple of ways you could write this. You could do uh, plus equals, or if we just want to go and make it really obvious, zombie dot x equals itself plus. And we could put in here any number, but um, what I'm going to do is put in some variable, okay? And I'm going to establish that variable right up top here. And the reason this is going to be a variable is we're going to change its value um, whenever the zombie um, hits either side of the stage. So if he is going too far over this side, then we'll make that variable equal a negative number. If then if he goes back over here too far, uh, we'll switch it back around again. And you know what? We keep calling this guy a zombie, but right now he's not in zombie mode. Let's switch him around. So he's back over this way. All right. And open this back up. So we will then um, put in here an if statement that just says if zombie.x is ever equal to or greater than the stage dot stage width. And in that case, we shall take some var and we will make it equal to itself multiplied by negative one. Okay. Then zombie.x is going to equal stage dot stage width. And then let's take this whole statement here. Let's write an else version of this. So else if zombie.x is, this one will switch around to less than or equal to zero. Do the same little thing with some var. And then let's just go ahead and make its x value equal to one. And we will test this in, uh, let's just test it in a, it's just a regular way of doing things, the uh, not in the vice central. So sure enough, there he goes. And let's make sure he ends up back again. Okay, so now what we'll play around with is touching, like holding down, like right here, let's say where my mouse is at the moment, and then seeing if we can trigger something, a message up there. And then we'll also look at the touch it happening. So come down yonder, and we'll write zombie.add event listener. This will be a touch event, and then this will be touch. Oh, and here you go, you can see all the other options you got here that. Um, I made notes of. Anyway, and touch roll over, comma, this will be touch, we'll make this function name touch roll over. Uh, it could be any name though if you want. And then right below it, function, and this will be again, that guy right there, just repeat it back. Let's just keep using E, and then this will be a touch event. And then we're not returning anything for this function, so it's just gonna be a void. And let's just go the easy way here. And um, again, we'll just use this uh, text field. So that's the name of it. My text field, 
dot text and this will equal let's just put in here all caps rolling over okay so you're rolling over to that point and then let's copy this whole thing out one more time this will be touch out or touch roll out and touch roll out out and that should be enough to test for just right now so let's go back over here I'm gonna switch this back to device central and it looks like I forgot something on line 33 that would be yes how did I forget that okay save it up again let's publish it out <coughs> and bring up our good friend device central okay let's zoom in here for a second all right, so I'm going to hold down, and, well, I noticed this before. For, when you hit hold down option or alt, I guess, um, and then you click down, for some reason it just stops this enter frame event. I don't, I'm pretty sure that that's not actually supposed to be what's going on, because as soon as you start rolling it or moving this around again, it, it behaves normally. Um, so I'm sure it's just some little weird glitch with uh, Device Central. But, yep, you can see that the code is working here that, um, you know, as he ro gets rolled over here, rolling over and then rolling out. Okay. And that could just as easily be, we could indicate this as touching and then not touching, you know. So it's kind of a little collision detection there. And uh, now let's go ahead and throw in the other part of this, which will be uh, the, the tap. So we'll write zombie dot, uh, you know what. <laughs> You know what, let's just go ahead and copy this whole thing out again. And uh, what we are looking out he for here is touch tap, and let's just change this to tap handler. Throw that guy in there, and then zombie tapped. Okay, and let's see how successfully we can test this with those other um, event listeners in there well you know what we should we could do let's uh, let's just see first if it, it'll work out all right okay so all right sure enough yeah that, that is working um, let's do this though let me clear this out I just want to be able to kind of uniquely see when I tap, not just if it just is left up there, you know. Okay, so at least in Device Central here, you almost have to kind of double tap or double click to get that tap in there. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, that's how that works. There's really, um, at least note-wise, I don't have um, much other code here to take a look at. But, um, you know, again, you can play around with um, doing things like um, zombie.goto and stop frame two. So when you roll over him, he can go to that uh, his normal mode. And then when you roll out, he's back over here again. And, yeah. Well, it's about time I threw in uh, this one last line of code that I probably should have <laughs> included in all the things I've taught so far on this subject, which is um, this caches bitmap. And um, let me do two things, actually. I've, I've got both, uh, both things in the, of uh, code in my clipboard here. One is this little note here, which is, describes the um, caches bitmap. Um, uh, property and um, it's kind of simple. It's just basically saying that you know if you're not gonna if you don't have a movie clip that is um, animated or stuff inside of your movie clip that is animated, then go ahead and cache it as a bitmap. And uh, so let's just swipe this out of here, and I'll just leave that little note in there. Uh, let's come back up here, and we can just put this guy anywhere. Let's put it up at the top, 
and this um, should speed up uh, performance a little bit. And I'll go back into that other file um, and uh, throw that in there as well. And I, when I was testing things around with the um, the iPhone, I did notice that that um, that that uh, worked pretty well. So anyway, well, let's uh, close down this file, and um, I think you've got um, plenty of uh, touch code to look at, and we'll uh, in a future course we'll look at the uh, gestures.